What's up guys, Marissa here, and welcome back to Horror Tell. If you guys didn't see the first time we delved into this horrific mess that is Horror Tell, definitely go check out, there'll be a link in the description down below to the first episode. But if you guys have, we're going to delve back in to this torturous world and actually help the fallen human do what we have to do. And apparently this is not Frisk. It's someone called Eliza. I've been reading the comments and also replying to them. And you guys have gave me some very awesome information about this whole alternative universe of horror tell here. All right. So uh, we are just going to go straight to Papyrus because even though I asked you guys not to spoil things, I've heard that we have to talk to him and accept his offer. So that's what we're going to go do. We're going to check out this big boy right here. And he really is big for some reason. I don't know why he's so large. Hi, human. Hello, how are you? You look incredibly strange. You are skin and bones. I know. I'm anorexic. I haven't eaten for weeks. I'm going pale because of it too. I'm gray in the skin. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> I just that you enjoy tasting my spaghetti. So apparently we should accept it. Although I'm very scared. I am. What's gonna happen? Okay, we're, we're chewing on it. Amazing, I've never seen a human that eats this much. I'm really caning it. I am really swallowing that down. Well, what do you expect? I'm anorexic. I haven't eaten for weeks, guys. I'm gonna react like that to food. <laughs> so, how does it taste? Um, If I say it's bad, will he chop my head off? I think he may chop our heads off if I say it's bad. It, it tastes great. <laughs> yeah, how delightful. <laughs> All right, ma'am. I'm scared. I'm still scared. All right. Okay. And something happened. Did I die? Oh, no. I found a hair in it. Oh, uh, uh, Papyrus. What, what did you use to make that? Was it from actual natural ingredients? I don't want to think about it too much. Okay, <laughs> excellent human. Now that you are pleasantly plump, we can continue with our game. I shall inform Sans on the good news. Quickly, follow me to your imminent capture. Again, don't feel very persuaded about this here, but uh, I think this is what we have to do. Can we go up here? He's gone now. No, not this, okay. Oh, he's not letting me. Not that way, this way. Okay, what about if we read the signs again? Not that, okay, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to do anything. Otherwise, I'll chop on my balls, even though I'm probably a girl here. It definitely looks like a girl this time. That There's no, you know, no question about it. Definitely looks like a female here. Like I said, apparently named Eliza, and I'm sure Eliza's a female name. Okay, so even though he wants us to go that way, I'm guessing, can we still go this way? No, we're not allowed to do anything. We're trapped. Why, oh why? All right, man. I'm coming along. As much as I don't want to come along, I'm coming along. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we got to continue here. This is where Sans is, right? He's gonna chop my head off again, isn't he? I hope I hope he doesn't. Oh, he's asleep. Okay. He seems fast asleep. Wake him, walk past. What happens if I wake him? You call out, but your voice is too weak. A louder noise might work. Okay. He seems fast asleep. I guess then we just got walk past. Okay, we'll just walk past. Don't hurt us. I can imagine him. He's there. But he went what? How did you? Wait. How did he do that? You were asleep. He's messing with us, guys. He's gonna give us another head dog. He's gonna make another head dog out of us. Ah, human. I did not think you would arrive so quickly. Well, you know. From the fact that I couldn't really go anywhere else, you know, I kind of had to, man. So, yeah, I, ha I had to, yeah. All right. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> all right. I'm so sorry to say this is all being a big tease. I do not yet actually have any puzzles ready. But I imagine you are busting with questions about... Bursting... Yeah, busting with questions about what is going on down here. Hmm. I'm not, man. I'm I'm just flipping scared, all right? <laughs> ah, of course. Why don't you ask Sans? Oh, he don't like it. He doesn't like it, guys. Look at his face. Like I said, another head doll coming up. Oh, flip. No, he's a cheery fellow. I'm sure he would be a stag to put your mind at ease. I don't think he would. No, I don't think he would. What? No, she's fine. Yeah, I'm a girl, man. See, 100% there's no denying it now. Oh, come on now, brother. Show your sunny side. Go ahead, human. Oh, flip, man. Okay, I'll um, talk to Sans, I guess. He's big as well. He's quite big, actually. Why is he so big? 
I don't know. I didn't imagine them to kind of be that big, but maybe they would have, you know? The perspective we had on the real Undertale were just, you know, little sprites. So I, maybe it just looks weird. Like I said, Papyrus is massive. He's huge for some reason. But maybe that is the realistic comparison between the heights. I don't know. Anyway, listen, Bucko, as much as I admire you trying to get yourself killed, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not, man. I'm actually trying to stay well away from being killed, thank you very much. I just don't have the heart to care for stupid questions, so scram. Sans, be nice. I want the human in high spirits before she meets her doom. What? And here I was thinking you were kind of nice. Really? Who the heck is nice here? Honestly, guys, no one's nice here. Look at them. Papyrus looks stuffed. Sans looks stuffed. Everyone's stuffed, for crying out loud. Even though Toriel kind of redeemed herself very slightly last time. But even then, she could have turned on, on us at any moment. We don't really know. All right. Okay. Ugh. Oh, you flipping don't like it. That face looks crazed. I am very scared of Sans in this AU. Oh, man, I don't like it. Sup. Oh, he is not... No, he don't want to play around. He doesn't. But maybe I can still ask. We've got so many questions here. Toriel? Tori? I haven't really checked up on her lately. I may have made the mistake of telling her how things are around here. She, uh, hasn't taken it well. In fact, you could say it ruined her life. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I get it, man, because she's in the ruins. Yeah, that, that pun was just not funny, especially in this situation, man. Just don't, please. <laughs> but hey, on the bright side, at least she isn't alone anymore. Yeah, I'm always hearing voices coming out through that door. Sounds kind of like yours, all panicky and shrill. It's none of my business, though. You don't care? Come on, Sans, come to realization here. Snap out of it. You're better than this. Come on. Uh, Alfie's? Didn't Alfie's, like, die in the neutral run? Was that, is that it? No, I don't know if that was right. I can't remember. Anyway, I, uh, I don't know how to answer that question yet, though. I figure she's dead. Oh, well, I kind of assumed that just a minute ago. Okay. But there is one thing. Sometimes when a human fills a puzzle, pieces of them just kind of disappear. Oh, you mean the one with the missing face? That was strange, wasn't it, Sans? Over here, I got this one. We were strolling through the wood, and to my delight, a human had failed a puzzle of mine. Oh yeah, delight? Really? To your delight? Honestly? It was the great experience, was it, was it, Papyrus? <laughs> but when we inspected them, their face was missing, as was everything else above the shoulders. It was bizarre, because as far as I'm aware, humans need those things to attempt puzzles. Uh, it's like, I kind of still want to like Papyrus, because he's still very naive. But I, I think, in a way, he's still done things, you know? W without him knowing, he's still done things, so I, I don't know. I, I really don't. He means we found him headless, and I can't figure what sick monster would run around chopping heads off. Maybe you? Because remember last time? The head dog thing, you know? My arm was on the table, you had this flipping huge knife thing. Yeah, maybe you, man. <laughs> What's with that look? Yeah, exactly, you. You're even kind of sweating there, it looks like, man. You know. You know it, boy! Alright, uh, so we've asked about Toriel Alfie's puzzles, I guess? Okay, it's like this. My bro over there, he means well. He dreams big for the both of us. But do you have any idea how much work it takes to make puzzles? Make everything play in order and make sense and look right? It takes forever. I mean, that makes no real difference. Lucky for us, uh, we uh, kind of have forever. But it's not just that. Last I heard, his puzzles aren't even his own. You get what I'm saying? He saw someone else's puzzles and liked them so much he's trying it for himself. Sure, they're a little different. I kind of like the spin he's got going. But still, if it's not original, how much work is it really worth? Take it from me, kid. No matter how much you beg and whine, I'd say your time down here is limited. Man, don't... Don't do that. You're already flipping creepy enough. Please. Okay, home? Undying. I want to know about Undying, but we'll uh, check out the whole home thing first. Oh, got a family waiting for you. Nice parents, friends, <laughs> that's cute, but I doubt it. You look pretty miserable for a well of baby human. I take you m f more for the nobody notices me. I'm too poor for friends or well-fitted clothes kind of girl. Too harsh, well that's nothing. Here, things are kind of worse, because we're kind of trapped in this rotten city for eternity, and we're kind of starving to death, and our ruler's kind of a bully. Your ruler? Is Undyne the ruler? 
we're all basically stuck in a pretty bad place, so welcome to the party. Because this is after the neutral run. you got to remember that, guys. This is after Frisk did a neutral run. I, I was a bit fogged up on it when I first played this, because just this whole place was just shrouding my head, because how deluded it is. But since reading your guys' comments and kind of looking back at it, yeah, it's after a neutral run. So, Asgore's dead, right? I think. And Undyne takes over. I think. Okay, I may not be 100% right, but I'm sure your guys will help me in the comments section. All right, we're all basically stuck in a big bad place, so welcome to the party. Okay. Undyne. Ugh. Queen. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Undyne is the queen. All right. Now she's just plain rude. I guess you could say she and I don't see eye to eye socket. Personally, I kind of want her dead. But then who'd be left to rule this paradise? Someone's got to do it. And she's a real enthusiastic about bringing upon human genocide. So, as for me, yeah. I've given up on figuring what's right and what's wrong. Well, this is wrong, by the way. Killing me and trying to eat humans or whatever you do. So, yeah. Okay, right. So, I think we've asked him everything here. Done, I guess? See ya. All right. We can go up. Okay, sure. What? Nope. Why? Why? Why, why Sansie? Why? I'm going anyway. I don't care. I'm barging through those bones, even though they're very bloodied up and very freaky looking. I'm trying again. I'm uh, flipping. Just don't bother. Let's just go. Let's just stop. We're not be able to get past, guys. All right. We're not allowed to go through. Okay, so I gotta go back. Yeah. Okay, what if I talk to you again? Oh, it's all the same stuff. I think we asked him everything. All right, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. So we're gonna get down here, I suppose. Human, are you ready to join me? Uh, yes, I'm done, I think, I, I suppose. So you have your mind as well as your tummy filled with delicious content. So now, without further ado, holy heck. Why, why, why do you look like that? I don't like this at all. <laughs> I don't like it! This game, man, absolutely freaky, but at the same time, very interesting and can't wait to see more of it. But for now, we're not going to end it, guys. It's something I quickly want to do. And a lot of you guys were asking about it in the comments in the last video. And that's to check out Toriel and do some other things because we just went with the flow of her. We, we didn't really mess around with it. And there's options for us to do so. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly do this and see what happens here. So this is the only exit turning back isn't an option. She tries to escape but finds a lot of doors in place. We didn't try tease. Okay, what? How very childish. <laughs> what was the point in that? I honestly don't know. All right, so I want to get Toriel to come out and then you can like deny her and stuff like that. We'll, we'll see that very quickly here. She tries to escape the vines, lock the doors in place. Uh, talk. She whispers gently for the door. The pounding continues. Talk again. You say blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we did this last time. So we'll talk again. We want her to pop out. Then, strangely enough, you apologize yourself, sorry, or for leaving her, all right? And for leaving everything she promised you, knowing it's far more than what awaits you on the surface. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right, 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 right. Finally, you thank her, despite what she tried to do, despite blah, 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 blah. We know, we know, all right. The music stops for some random reason. I don't know why. What happens if I tease here? Should I tease here? Let's do it. Oh, that was mean. We got our attention and then we just stuffed it up. Oh, that is so cruel. Right, so we're open the door now. Oh, she looks so desperate when she does that. I feel so bad for the character in this game. Child, if what you say is true. All right, yeah, whatever. Then let me do what is best for you. All right, okay. Oh, I don't like it. Why did I forget about that? I nearly forgot about that. What the heck? Don't do that, Toriel. Don't. Okay, right, so we need to, uh, like, say we are gonna promise her, and then after I wanna deny and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, alright. We know! We know, God Mama! I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, Mama! I'm really sorry, God Mama, but this is for the, uh, community, and... I don't know, just the general interest in what the heck's gonna happen in a minute. So we gotta promise, and then we gotta deny. Oh, don't! God Mama, I'm sorry! I'm denying it. I deny. Yes, of course. It is foolish of me to ask of such a thing. Okay. All right. Are you just going to shut the door? Yes, I must bring myself to bid you farewell. All right. So you're, you're just going to shut the door, yeah? Bye, Goat Mama. I love you, Goat Mama. 
It's just a hard task. I just can't promise something like this. Okay, it's gone. All right. Hi, 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 hello. What? Why? What the flip? What? <laughs> what the heck? The what? <laughs> I don't know what to say. That was so weird. It's rude to play with someone's emotions. Maybe I deserved it then, crying out loud. But I can't promise something that huge. Yeah, I promised it last time, but I came to realization. You know, look at the deranged freaks that live in this place. How can I promise something like that? I didn't deserve to die over it. I was just being realistic. <laughs> well, that was really holy flipping, holy heckin' holy flipping dipping. It was crazy, okay, guys? It was just crazy. Anyway, I think that's everything that can be done with this playable teaser demo, whatever the heck it is. Hopefully, this game gets updated sooner rather than later. Although my reactions were, you know, a bit shocked, I'm still interested in what this game has to offer. It's just really creepy. But at the same time, like I said, there's something I want to know more about. I want to get into it and see more of it and yada yada, play more, get more spooks. I don't flip know. Anyway, guys, sadly, it's going to be the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely hit that like button. But most importantly, guys, it's so amazing that you even watched today. And I'll see you in the next one.